Folks, welcome to our 90E red gas leak detector calibration. Folks, this is the little beauty. As you could see, we just turned it on and we see a residual amount. And I get many emails on calls, Dr. Cos, it's not zero, it's some residual amount. Now, anything less than 400 or 300 is very normal. You're going to be performing a zero calibration, okay? This will be performed after the countdown and after you've let it sit for about five to 10 minutes, okay? Because you want the sensor to to warm up, there's a semiconducting sensor here. It takes a few minutes to really come to thermal equilibrium with, with its elevated temperature. And then you can perform the zero calibration. It's quite easy, just press the menu button. The power button is the menu button. You'll take you into the menu screen and press again, gas zero. And then all you do is press save and bang. You've done it. You have zero calibrated the unit. It now shows zero. It's the new zero baseline, okay? It's gonna get rid of all that noise and that um, offset that may be there for you, okay? All right, folks, now we are ready to actually perform a span calibration, okay? That means we will be exposing the sensor head right over here to a known methane concentration. Now, the gas bottle over here has 5,000 parts per million. That's what we recommend for calibration. And we have the regulator plugged up to a tubing and to a specially made hood, okay? We have these hoods specifically for the gas leak detector. Okay, so just go ahead and pop that on the hood over here okay folks just like so now you'll see it's going to be rising because i had that on and it's just picking up the residual um the residual methane that's in the bottom i'm going to turn that on okay now i've got five thousand parts per million okay five thousand parts per million and we're going to calibrate that today to five thousand parts per million so go ahead press the middle go to cas calib and the password is two 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 Next, calibration value in the bottle is 5,000, so that's what we enter. Press next and save. That's what I want to save it as, 5,000. So if we go back, it's going to be exactly nearly 5,000, bang. And that's how we calibrate, okay, folks? So you, we do need certain equipment for this. It isn't just, you know, let's calibrate. No, it's a bit of a process. It takes some gas, calibrated gas, the regulator, and the hood. As you could see, I've got a hood over here. And that's how we know this detector is now actually calibrated to a known value, okay, folks? And that's the way it works. We could turn that off and we could let that come down now, okay, folks? So that's how it works. Now, please note, folks, um, as you could see, this is a computer. It, it, it is quite accurate and quite sophisticated. It isn't one of those beep beep types and it's, you know, $20, $30, no. For the money, this is no question the best value, the most accurate gas leak combustible detector out there, folks. So please appreciate the zero calibration. Please appreciate the span calibration. That's why we have it, because we want to provide you with a, you know, not just a on-off or one zero or binary type of gas leak detector. We want to give some quantitative information to the plumber or to the HVAC guy or to the user. That's the way it works. Till then, hope you like it. Be well, be safe, and see you soon.